Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth World Told Tarot. <clears throat> this is your August 2019 tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Virgo. So we have four general energies of the month. We have the Five of Swords, the two, the, I was going to say the two lovers, the lovers, the Eight of Pentacles and the Hermit energy. We have, and the Hermit is your card, Virgo. The overarching energy of the month is the world energy. It's beautiful energy there. Top three cards that popped out. We have three. We have two major arcana and the Queen of Cups, the Chariot and the Magician, representing love, romance, relationships. Bottom three cards for money and career. We have the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Um, so real progression there. We have an angel card and also a spirit message card for further clarification, Virgo. So let's start with the world. <clears throat> this is a beautiful card. This is about a success. Success is being achievement this month. It's a month of achievement. It's a month of making progress. It's a month of growth. It's a month of understanding lessons that you might have gone through and challenges. It is a card of celebration. It is crossing the finishing line, coming through a challenging time. Well, a journey is the ending of a cycle. So there's been ups and downs. So highs and lows, overcoming the challenges within those lows and coming through the other side. This is a wonderful, wonderful card. It's one of the most powerful cards in the tarot deck, the world energy, because this is the ending of a cycle. It it indicates major endings and ending on a high. The it is a it is a card of Saturn, Virgo, this ring here, the wreath, represents Saturn, the Saturnian rings. And Saturn is very much about how we feel boundaries, we feel pressures, we feel tested. We feel challenges and we overcome them. So it's that testing process. It's the boundaries we put on ourselves, or, or the world and other people put on us. And you need boundaries in life because how do you judge success if you don't have something to measure against? So in that respect, it's really positive. It does measure success. But this is also about breaking through from an old cycle. And I feel some of you are breaking through. You're making a real breakthrough this month. You're winning. It's a card of winning, crossing that finishing line and going to the next level. So powerful energies there, really powerful card. <clears throat> and also major endings, major endings. Now, let's look at these cards here. So we have your card, Virgo. And when your card appears in your reading, it's a poignant message. So I kind of feel for some of you it's a poignant month as well. This is internal, this is going within. The hermit is that internal journey of seeing truths, acceptance, finding answers, finding wisdom, finding knowledge, soul searching, understand why things happened the way they were, why, why they did. It is a card of, of reason, of finding logic. It's a card of healing by finding answers within you, almost by giving yourself that inner pep talk. You're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel on a situation that could have could have felt like conflict in your life. And the five of swords can be a sign of victory, but it's a victory that comes at a cost. So some of you could have lost friendships. You could have um, gone through some kind of conflict maybe with somebody, you know, conflict communication challenges in some respects this can be sometimes when things have to be brought about brought out into the open in order to move forward in a situation so any conflict that you've had in your life whether it's in relationships whether it's in the work situation you're going within to heal and in doing that you're coming to the point where you're raising your vibration you raise your energy so you're ready to see the light at the end of the tunnel to move on from that situation. So I think some of you are moving on from conflict. 
There is something about making sound judgment calls as well. So if you are pulled into conflict in any way, shape or form, do think twice. Because uh, this is very much, uh, this is Venus in Aquarius, the, the five of swords energy. And it asks you, use your judgment wisely to see whether you need to be pulled into this conflict. So if some kind of situation arises, Virgo, just take a step back and think, choose your battles wisely. Because I just feel that some of you could be affected by this. If this hasn't already happened, then this might happen in August. And for some of you, some of you might be pulled into a conflict or a situation that could just make you feel insecure. Now, you could be helping somebody else out, actually, looking at it. You could be pulled... Yeah, I just feel... Yeah, that I'm, I'm getting that as well. Some of you could be pulled into a situation that you didn't start out of just supporting somebody else and you become embroiled in that conflict and it could create real insecurity in your life, real instability. So think twice because you could be coming to somebody else's aid as well. Yeah. Either way, you do have that sound judgment about you, certainly in August, to make wise decisions. So I kind of think that you'll do that, Virgo, most definitely. Uh, because, you know, the lover's card is about making choices. So I do think for some of you on this situation, you'll make the right choice. You have the right attitude. You under I think you'll see things clearly as well. But yeah, just, just be a bit careful about that. Now, this is the card of Gemini. Um, the lover's energy. There could be conflict in love for some of you. There could be, com yeah, you could be, to be fair, there could have been insecurity in the workplace as well, in some way, shape or form. Yeah. So let's just look at these two cards anyway. <clears throat> so the lover's card can be about a relationship, love, new love maybe. There could, as I said, there could, be, could have been some conflict with regard to love. Or oh, this just could be finding that happier place within yourself. This could be you because this is um, Angel Raphael, God's healer. And this could be you having healed maybe in a situation, being blessed, maybe meeting somebody new in love for some of you. And I feel, I feel certainly that some of you um, are coming back to you. So if it's not, if you're not in a relationship, if you don't meet somebody new, this is about you finding a happier place. Now, with the Eight of Pentacles next to this card, <clears throat> the only other message that I'm getting, Virgo, is that there could be a relationship that's just hard work. It's too much like hard work. So some of you, I mean, there could be a conflict associated with this relationship. And I think it's getting to the point where you need to make a judgment call on whether it suits your life or not. So, yeah, that's something else that I'm getting as well. Like you could just be finding a relationship hard work. Now, the other thing about the lover's energy is it's also known for making major decisions in your life. Some of you could be making major, major decisions on the work front. So I'm just feeling that some of you could be deciding to go for new jobs Maybe go to a place where you're recognised or value for, valued for what you do. Maybe you're not getting the recognition or the money that you want from your current position. So some of you may well be looking to go somewhere else to be recognised to get the money as well. This can also be about business ventures as an entrepreneurial energy here. And this is the Sun in Virgo card, interestingly enough. So that Sun energy really gives you that cosmic boost um, so being extra productive in the workplace. So if you are, if you have your own business or business partnership, for example, you're going to find that what you're focusing on right now is going to really pay off. You're slowly going to find um, mounting rewards associated with that. But yeah, this is somebody who is shaping their energy as well as shaping their work career life. They're doing something that they enjoy. So some of you might be moving to somewhere that something that you enjoy to do something that you enjoy. And slowly but surely you're shaping your life for the better um, financially, materially, but also your energy as well, your energy, your life in general. So you're kind of slowly chiseling into place and that's beautiful. So, yeah, I think there'll be some major decisions either on the career front. Um, 
possibly in the love front as well sound judgment calls that you'll be making on the love front too but either way the world card is saying that something may end but it's going to end the way you want it to end and it ends for your best intention for your best um advantage if you like so it's a beautiful energy there so this world card just talks about completion Everything that you're doing, all the actions that you're taking, the decisions that you're making are for you to have a more complete and fulfilled life. And that's what I'm seeing from this circle as well. Um, just to feel more complete in August. So those are the actions and the judgment calls that you're making right now. So powerful energies there. Now, <clears throat> some powerful cards that we've got in them. Love, romance and relationships. <coughs> Let's start with the chariot. So, the chariot is you're bringing your life back into balance on the love front. So maybe you have had some conflict in some way, shape or form because this chariot is riding forward but he is almost like leaving, letting go of the weights of the past because the, the chariot itself is, is a weight, it's, it's generally made of stone. So there is something about releasing weights of the past, getting your life into balance in order to move forward. So some of you may be moving from a, from a situation that could have been conflict, challenging maybe, somewhere, something, something that you had to heal from potentially. And you're moving forward with balance now and purpose. And you understand what you want in life, what you want in a relationship. I mean, sometimes failed relationships, Virgo, just remind us of what we really want. They actually hone our skills in, in choosing and deciding who we want and what we want in our lives going forward. So the experience is always worthwhile, in my opinion, however good or bad. The, the um, Queen of Cups can be an offer of love. Now, this can be finding you finding self-love. Certainly, bringing positive change, you're moving on from a situation and I think some of you are, are ready to maybe receive new love in some way, shape or form. But really, I kind of think that new love is, is transformational for you. I think new love can transform your life. It could well be also that you finding a happier place allows you to start transforming your life. The magician is using your skills, your experience, your knowledge and that divine energy blended together to create something that is pure gold, that is that is just magic. And yeah, I just feel for some of you, there's a transformative effect that you have maybe with love this month. Love transforming your life for the better. Yeah, because there's something about victory. There is something about a journey associated with the chariot. There is something about you coming out of your shell. So there could be some guarded energy here as well. This is a card of cancer. This is also a card of cancer, actually. Um, and this is card of mercury. So there could be some communication on the love front for some of you as well. But it has a, a real transformative effect. It brings a good change, a positive change to your life for the better and yeah it's beautiful energy there okay now the money and career from virgo <clears throat> okay let's look at this because it's almost like you've got 10 11 12 if you count them that way obviously they're not really like that in the uh, tarot deck but you have a stepped approach you have stepped progress on the work front and I think you have a world of opportunity, certainly with regard to your career. I think some of you in the past, okay, let's start with this. Let's put them in order. So some of you in the past have maybe been taken advantage of. Maybe you've been given a lot of work to do in there and just, just given the work and been expected to do it. You've done it well. You've carried the pressures of the job well. And, and yet, for some of you, I don't feel that you're getting recognised or rewarded for it in some respects. This is a 10 which talks about completions, again, not dissimilar to the world energy, major endings. And I kind of think you're beginning to recognise your own power. You recognise your own skills, your own expertise, and I think you have that passion and desire to find progress. You have passion and desire 
to be recognised at work, maybe to be given a promotion, maybe to be given more money, maybe to have some like kind of like mapped out progress for you. So for those of you maybe who have appraisals, that type of thing, it might well be that you're discussing how you can advance in the career front. Either that or this could be a new job opportunity for you. Certainly with the Knight of Wands, this can represent an offer or an opportunity. So where you might not have felt valued in the past, this is you taking action to bring about positive change. And it's a promising change because this wand is growing, it's sprouting. It holds promise, it holds promise of success. Um, and this is you, just you getting back in the driving seat. I'm finding that very strongly, certainly with these energies and also the energies above as well. I do think these are crossing over because I do think that magician energy, the chariot energy, even the queen of cups is just saying that you want that happy place in work. You want to do something that you enjoy, that's clear, but you want to be recognised for it as well. And it is transforming your life for the better on the career front too. And I think you've got your eyes on the prize in knowing where you're going on that respect, Virgo. So I think these energies, I found it in two or three readings, they just overlap. Um, even though there are separate decks, um, the cards will connect where they need to connect. So we're getting progress, fast progress. This is you chomping at the bit to be recognised, to have your power, to grab hold of opportunities and move forward, find progression. And this is you taking decisive action because you're now realising where your strengths lie. The Queen of Wands is an opportunist, not dissimilar to the King of Wands. But she has this kind of like instinctive flavour as represented by the cat here. And um, this is a sign of Aries, interestingly enough. <clears throat> and these are all fire energies as well here. Um, so that's Sagittarius, this is Aries. Uh, and this is you instinctively understanding and playing to your strengths. There's an agility to the Queen of, of Wands. Playing to your strengths, understanding, I think you're realising what, what you're capable of and your value in some respects. And this is you grabbing hold of opportunities and creating more successful outcomes on the business front. To claim your success, to claim your power, to be where you need to be in title, in promotions, in recognitions, in job offers, in business, venture progressions even, that type of thing. So just feeling more comfortable because you're getting progress on the career front. These are beautiful energies. These are really beautiful energies. Now here's the interesting thing as well. This is um, Saturn in Sagittarius. And this is also Saturn in Sagittarius. This is also Saturnian card and the world energy. And both of these cards are very much talking about breaking through. I think on the work front, it can be breaking glass ceilings. It can be breaking old habits of people giving you so much work and not recognising, giving you recognition for what you do. People taking advantage of you. And I think this is you claiming your power this month. And yeah, there's real success associated with that because you're breaking old cycles and pushing to that next level which is exactly what these cards are saying. These are stepped approaches. Again, 10, 11, 12, if you count them. So it's a stepped approach going to the next level, you know, and finding progress and success, increasing success. So beautiful energies there, Virgo. Now, the, yeah, I mean, this is manifestation. I do feel there is a transformational quality to this reading. Um, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why actually as well, because we have the card of Mercury here with the Hermit. You are ruled by Mercury. Your Virgo card is ruled by Mercury, and we have the Magician here. And I think between these two, this is doing the inner work to raise your vibration, maybe to make you stronger from within, because healing. You know, when you heal, things, uh, the scars heal twice as strong. Yeah, and I think for some of you. You're either healing or you're real, you're, there's a realisation from within that's coming to you now that you are more powerful than you think. And I think there is a vibrational change within you this month from within. 
You're finding what you're made of from within. And that is allowing you to bring real transformation in your external world. And that's how these two cards connect. Because if you really believe, and this is getting you to that point of believing that you are, you do deserve positive change in your life. You do deserve all the things that you hope and dream of. The magician is saying you can make it happen. And that's how these two cards link so beautifully together. So yeah, powerful energies there. And yeah, we have Hello from Heaven from the Spirit Message card. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show how much they love you. They love you to prove they wi they're with you at this time. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So yeah, powerful manifestation. And I think some of you are very much being divinely guided in it. There is some divine guidance here, certainly with this card, certainly with that magician energy. And yeah, I just think this is such a beautiful energy. The world card is, it says real achievements to be had this month. So really focus on the areas of your life that you really want to transform because this is understanding from within to change in your external world. Beautiful energies. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great month and I'll see you next time. Thank you.